Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today's subject is going to relate to brain development in children. It looks like it is universal, virtually, for endocrinologists to warn parents that children need a lot of carbohydrate for the development of their brains. They tell them this even though our ancestors evolved with very little carbohydrate in their diets. Um, and they tell them this in spite of the fact that uh, many articles have been published recently in the diabetes journals showing the brain damage that occurs rapidly in young children who manage to achieve high blood sugars thanks to the uh, high, high carbohydrate diets that are being universally recommended. I even had a five-year-old child come in here last week from Germany where the German endocrinologists are copying the ones the endocrinologists in the United States and advocating high carbohydrate diets and in this particular case uh, the mother was f fed up with the uh, roller coaster blood sugars that she was getting from the high carbo diet and on her own uh, lowered the blood sugar swing by cutting the carbo in her uh, son's uh, diet and uh, eventually ended up coming uh, here because she wanted normal blood sugars. But it, this is happening all over the world thanks to the advocacy of the American Diabetes Association which wants high carb and high blood sugars and roller coaster blood sugars for kids. And in their own journals they are publishing articles showing the damage that occurs to brains thanks to the high blood sugars. And uh, this occurs to brains of all ages. Recently they published on impairment of IQ thanks to high blood sugars that uh, diabetic children just do do not grow up with the same IQ that they had when they were younger if they manage to have high blood sugars. Uh, you'll, you'll see along with this video pictures of brains of children who have uh, been put through the high blood sugar mi mill thanks to uh, high dietary carbohydrate. You've seen an earlier video where we talk about gluconeogenesis where anybody can derive glucose from the amino acids and proteins. So if you are eating a high protein diet you can convert the amino acids to glucose anytime you need glucose and your blood sugars do not have to drop too low because you're getting plenty of protein uh, to provide you with amino acids and indirectly with glucose. Uh, there just is no excuse for having excessively high blood sugars uh, thanks to high dietary carbohydrate. Thank you and we'll see you at the next session.
The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.